entering the NEC. Today we have Bazamati and me going to a Barry Potter toy fair. Barry Potter, not Harry Potter. <laughs> Barry. No. Barry not Potter. Her. We wouldn't go to a Harry Potter fair if you paid us. No. Sorry. Anyway, this is the first time we have been, but you have been I've been before. to, the, to uh, the event at Sandown. It travels around the country. Yes. So, we are quite the frequenter of conventions, as you know, but this year we are expanding. Actually, I think last year we expanded quite a bit because we went to horror conventions. Yeah. Yeah. But this year, toy conventions, you're going to a Star Trek convention. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so, we're going to try and expand to what conventions we see this year. See what's inside, many vintage toy, and just great, amazing nostalgia for everybody. All right, it's the end of such a what was everybody's idea and view of this incredible day. Um, my can I go first? <laughs> go first, I'm, yes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. anyway, yes. My, my thing is, um, I saw lots of Ninja Turtle things, yeah. lots of Book Your Hair things, lots yeah. of Toxic Crusaders things, yeah. and I saw things from like the 70s, from when I was growing up, which were like a car boot sales, which I thought, oh, you'll never see them again. And from the 80s, when I was a kid, I'm like, what the hell is this? I'm like. They're still making, you know, they're still selling this stuff and there's a market for it. I was shocked. Yep. So it was a great place and really decent prices. As I well agree. As yeah. Nice bartering as well. Like yep. they put st some stuff down for like £2. Exactly. Yeah. What about you, Manny? I liked it. It was as good as ever. Um, there's a really good range of stuff. Because um, you've been before. Two years is when they get to stand down. It's the same, same company. Yes. But uh, it's a really good uh, range of stuff. Yes. Um, and to be honest, um, <laughs> towards the end we walk around, some guy or anybody comment about oh everyone should just put stuff on eBay. Well the whole point is you can come to a place like this and look at it first hand yes. and find stuff you didn't even know existed that you exactly. might even want. And feel it so, without postage or um, it getting damaged it. on the way. Uh, check, come sure. check it out whenever it comes to a so, place near you. For a mere £7 you got to go in and how many tables would you say there were? Um, there's easily quite a few hundred. Tables, yeah, so. Yeah. And I, mean, I know some of the larger venues goes to way more than that. We were there for three hours and we were rushing at the end, yes. so that's an idea of how much time we spent there. But alas, we're going to show you our gatherings from what we collected individually. Basington, what did you get? Hello. Show us. I have a Cooper Trooper, <laughs> oh. which was very cheap. An Alien Conquest yes. Lego, which was also cheap. He let me have that for less than that price. Yep. I have these three Ninja Turtle figures, which were also quite bargainful. Look at the cute gang. Very bargainful. <laughs> he also let me have this cheap, along with this, which is the Batman Beyond Batmobile. It's got a really cool back to it as well, like a lenticular back. Really cool. And I got, I'm always on the hunt for my little ponies, especially Twinkle Eye Ponies. This lovely lady is a unicorn also, and he threw in a brush and some shoes. <laughs> Because I was like, yeah, give me some shoes. Always looking for E.T. These beautiful little earrings with Gertie. No, sorry, no, they're not the Gertie ones. These are Elliot and E.T. earrings. And these stickers are friggin' hilarious. Um, especially this bit. I mean, playing football. When did he ever play football? He didn't. Um, I think he's going back on the ship in this one. But he looks like he's been kicked out of the ship. I don't really know what's happening. It's kind of crazy. Um, and the fact there's no Elliot on this. I think it's all... Gertie, I think, and some Home Alone. Thank you, Maddie, for buying me these for 50 whole pence. Cards with a sticker. Have to open those and find out what's in it. And what about you, Maddie? Um, I got the last of the six Kenner Swamp Thing figures that I need. Yes. Anyone debating now? Not all the other characters, just the Swamp Things themselves of the six that I yes. need. And uh, a Kurt Russell Snake Fiskin. For there. just ten pounds. For just ten. And it's got the the actual. The, is these the movie maniacs? They are it all is made. movie maniacs. Yes, with the guns and everything in there. So, 
It was an excellent haul. Yes. I'm very happy with what we got today. If you do come, give yourself lots of time to look Definitely. Around. Get here when it opens if you can and just trawl through it. Take time, look at everything, see everything, take it and in. Haggle. Yes. Haggle. Should we open the cards and I'll see what we've got in there? That's what we'll do. Mm, yes. <laughs> Home alone unveiling time. So these haven't been opened before. They are a card and six, eight cards and a sticker. So here we go. Because I love Home Alone, especially the second one. So we have Kevin and his buddies. They're not buddies. They're not buddies. They actually are evil men out of prison. One of the harming. Ow. <laughs> one with his brother. <laughs> one of all oh, the Christmas tree. A paradise of toys. <laughs> Staff, yeah. a suspicious staff. That doesn't make sense. Source out the grammar on that card. Casing the joint. Together again. Oh, oh, the sad ending. And get that kid. Get that kid. Excellent. So the front one is the sticker. Oh, and they all make up a gathering of, you put them together obviously for the Lost in New York logo. So all together, that is the conclusion for today. Get us all in the shop, man. <laughs> Turn the camera around. You could do it. Get us all in here. So that has been Barry Potter Toy Fair, everybody. Till next time. Bye. Bye.